Medical workers across the country are searching everywhere for basic supplies these days. Some may have found what they're looking for in a basement in Liverpool, New York. That's where Stephanie Keefe and Isaac Budman run Budman Industries. The couple normally makes 3D printers and shares plans and tips online as part of an international underground home printing culture. We've seen people use 3D printers for everything from um, the prosthetic hands to knickknacks from their favorite Marvel film. Until last weekend, that is. As the coronavirus began to spread, they figured out how to make medical face shields with their printers. Took a couple days and a half dozen prototypes to get it right. Tell me about the masks themselves. We send a 3D file to the printer and it prints this visor. It takes about 58 minutes on our machines to print. Isaac and Stephanie purchased the elastic and clear plastic needed to complete the shields and sanitize their studio. Volunteers make up an assembly line. With 16 printers running around the clock, so far they've kicked out nearly 400 completed masks, all delivered to the local emergency management department in Onondaga County. If we can accelerate the flattening of the curve mm -hmm. um, by deploying this technology and getting people connected, um, then it's time well spent. It's not just their upstate New York community they're impacting. They've also turned their social network of 3D printer aficionados into a network of tiny medical supply factories. This has gone beyond just your small company and your small uh, set of 3D printers now, right? When the first batch got delivered, um, all of a sudden we started hearing from people all over the globe. First responders in all of these areas who are short on supplies and who need shields. Um, at the same time, we also got a a, a waterfall of responses from people with 3D printers. So they set up a database to connect those in need with others of a 3D printer and a desire to help. So far, their face mask schematic has been downloaded nearly 2,000 times. The number of requests for masks, according to Budman Industries, is more than 40,000. Dr. Anushri Ananjara made one of those requests. She works at one of New York City's biggest hospitals. Even she is having to seek help from unconventional sources. At this point, we are realizing no one is coming to save us, and we as a community at a grassroots level have to start to mobilize to utilize all of the resources that we have. You know, at some point, maybe the federal government and the supply channels will kick in, but not enough and not soon enough. Until then, hospitals and healthcare workers will have to rely on American ingenuity and people like Isaac and Stephanie. I think it was uh, JFK who said, ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. And in this moment, we feel like we can do this for our mm -hmm. country. People doing what they can for their neighbors is nothing new. But making medical devices at home because hospitals can't get them? For the time being, that's the new normal. Evan McMorris-Santoro, CNN, New York.